Hello and welcome. It is that of the 25th day of December, better known as Christmas, and it is the year 2020, one week away from 2021. All right, the topic for today's video, really continuation from last night, looking at Bitcoin, Theta, Litecoin, and I'm also, excuse me, I'm going to be talking about, uh, as a couple of comments come in for, I uh, want to talk more about psychicness and I'm generally going to go over like my granddaddy of psychic experiences, expecting to have, not wanting to have anything like this again, I would suppose, just as far as I'm not in the spiritual level that I once was back then. All right, so that'll be the end of the video. So we'll start off with some Bitcoin. And oh, we're back way back when it was 10,000, up uh, now almost two and a half times now. That's got a bit of work to do to get to 2.5x. It's got to break 25 to do that. Uh, it probably won't take long to do it, but, well, we had this little sideways range way back when. A little bit of a breakout, sideways range. A little bit of a breakout, and then, of course, volatility would start to go up in uh, November 5th, we'll state, but sideways range. A little bit of higher volatility. This was an interesting run in here where it was, like, grinding with, like, higher gains, but then the up move, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and then move here. A little bit of, a lot of sideways consolidation. And then... Move higher, sideways consolidation, and we've just broke resistance. That's the story on the Bitcoin against the U.S. dollar, at least within the daily. It also means that today, for the first time since the 20th of December, has made a new all-time high. Although, it's 9.32 a.m. Eastern Time since I've done this video, and it has been... 154 minutes since Bitcoin has made an all-time high at 6.58 in the morning. Uh, one minute time frame. There's the all-time high right there. <laughs> it's probably a good chance it's changed as you've watched this. Who knows? If you're watching right off the bat, it still might be a good chance. I don't know. Hey, it might be a good chance when this video is over. No. Look, it's breaking down on the one down there. <laughs> still. Anyway, it's high for the uh, intraday session, 24,661. It's still got a long ways to even mention, a, not even close to that 25, but even stated yesterday, I don't even think 25,000 is going to be a, the key level. I'm thinking closer to 27 would be more likely. We'll see, but uh, the, the run move, the move, the run that it's having, I think is uh, doing phenomenal. I like uh, so many aspects within it, weekly term time frame. Buyers are most certainly in control of this market accumulation the name of the game right now in the Bitcoin market uh, is that's uh, who's in control of the market. The buyer is in monster control. And why do I got the log scale off? Yeah. I was, th I was playing around with the screens and everything beforehand to get it right. That's it. Normally, I don't want to push that accidentally when I do what I did, though, which is just move this around, get my paint. Cause I got, I'm going to use paint ready later on. So I get my paint set up to show the image and so on and so forth. But hey, I mean, the, the breakout here on the weekly shows a great move up a little bit, a little sideways. And well, it's just really period number two now and breaking out from this point. So even though it hasn't seen the 18 in a while, and yeah, it's well overextended. But as long as people are willing to pay the ask prices, and there's not an influx of people willing to not only take the bid prices, but even take further bid prices lower. Well, the market's not going to go down. And it's actually going to go up. But that's on that FK scenario, of course. Let's uh, transition off of Bitcoin after just taking that quick look at the monthly, because as stated before, I mean, it's just still barely had time above. It's just starting to be extended from the 18 average of highs on a more extended, more longer term time frame. And moving on to Theta against the Bitcoin, I don't know why they keep doing this at Fibonacci. It's only luck what happens today. Price action so far has hit a resistance of 5,611. 92 basis points higher than this Fibonacci. About not quite, but very close to 2% higher. Mm -hmm. Well, it was luck. Four hour term time frame, it wasn't this period with one hour and 24 minutes. It was a little while ago then, because we were already two hours and 45 minutes. So it's holding into this top in here, but still above the 18 average of highs. And the excitation from here, I mean, if it can hold this move, stay above, especially if it stay above around 5,049 mid change, low change even, and then 
breaking out, then yeah, this thing could have a phenomenal move. But it's a resistance test now, one hour time frame. There was the test on the five hour timestamp. Comes up to this level, is pulled back, and so far holding within the 18, but that still doesn't tell me that it's going to yet. 15 minute time frame. There we see it coming in on the 545. So I most likely to the top of Bitcoin, I suppose. Like five, I didn't check the to exact time. I know 598 is the dollar top, so I can just quickly take a look now then well next time frame that is or next two but within this we have had a lot of support at 5200 and from the last resistance play which was where it resisted the 18 average of highs for the first time since on this time frame oh well, when did we last resist the 18 highs i guess you can say we resisted it here and this is the fact was the last time we resisted the 18 average of highs and supported the 18 average of lows there after that Let's see, uh, do I, after it was below the 18 average of lows. See, these are those parameters I'm trying to think in my head. Okay, it was below the lows here. It, I mean, it kind of could be, it's sort of like this, but not really. But anyway, uh, if you see this price action at like 51.44, 51, like in this area here, and I, I mean, very easily it could be like down here, like not that not much longer after that's and bit, whatever, a bit more. It's got to get above this 18 average of highs on this time frame to really get back going again. But the fact that it hit this highs has come back down. Now we're in the short term test where if you see short term movements not holding, stand, like not able to get above like this in here, I'm going to be more cautious. If it and this is all short term stuff anyway, just trying to really just explain chart reading more than anything. And then there's this hit in here. And how close was this? To, I haven't checked to 58 after. On this time frame, not that close. No, 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 wrong time. And of course, not that close. Look at the right spot. 56, that is just sick. Okay. So Theta was just going up with Bitcoin big time in that spot. I want to see Bitcoin going up and all these other coins going up as well and just overperforming Bitcoin. Let me just take a look at Theta against the US fiat. And I haven't looked at that yet either. And then Litecoin will be next. I'm not going to go into any more, any more of the long-term stocks. I've already done that. Up to a buck and a third. Okay, a little more than that. Let's develop major support with big, big volume the last time. Okay. Let me just try to analyze. I'm not going to get what I want on this chart, I don't think, though. I almost have to actually look at the site itself or have some sort of other spot that gives you the data I'm going to talk about you'd be looking for. I don't, I don't know what the answer is, so I don't know. Uh, big monster volume came in here. I got lots of ideas, lots of things going on through my head right now. At uh, 9.30 in the morning. Oh, is it buy volume or is it sell volume? And I really don't know the answer to that. It's probably sell volume. And what I'm, what I'm trying to explain is, is there a big, big person who wanted to sell a lot of their theta at this time? And did so at 9.30 in the morning and sold it down basically 1%. Uh, that's the most high, uh, high, large odds on favor. But is there ever a situation where there was some sort of wall block and there's no evidence of that beforehand? Or some sort of major order that somebody wanted to execute that would do that on a buy? Very rare. However, what is most certainly happening from this point is uh, markets uh, have recovered very nicely on the one minute time frame from 9.30 a.m. to right now it's 9.40. And one of my th theories, I guess, it's not really a theory because it's, it's if it's true or not. Because would, would you do it this way? And that is when you have one of your big orders executed. Now you're going to town. You hit your bottom number, your end of your buy number, whenever that is. And those are the big game players. And when that time comes, and, and let's just assume you had a big order, in, and, 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 I, and I don't think it would be the case, but even if it was then, they'd be like, oh, yeah, we got a bigger, better order, $1.10 or $1.15 or $1.20 or $1.22 or whatnot. Then they have that order in, and then they just start flying high sky the market. They go sky high fly market now. It's just... It bottoms this, and then it's going to look out like. So when this period here comes, we're back, we're back up to buck thirty-two in like 
say 20 minutes from now or 30 minutes from now and then th later on in the day it's at a buck 57. that's the type of action that i'm looking at. and this can happen in any market where the big game but guy or gets the buys one way or another and that's why if you're looking at the order books i mean you really can't tell who's got the order in so i mean that's just especially with the stream large coins this is more for smaller size coins and mid-sized coins and not right. I don't even know how the big game players work on the big game coins. So no, you're, I don't know how you do it on the same level. But on the situation where you see they got big orders in, like say stuff like a uh, anything that's not in the top twenty, maybe you get some information. Okay, you see that there was a big buy order that was filled, and then big volume came on the sell down, and then next thing you know, like I just I mentioned, you get phenomenal moves that would come in after that. Let's take a look at both look like coin against the Bitcoin, then against the dollar. And then wrap it up within the interesting, okay, what this thing, what, what, what an interesting move from what time to what time. I'll wrap it up with the uh, psychicness. Really, spirits. 918 to uh, 929. That's 11, 12 minutes, price action going up about 15 basis points, 3%. No, not bad. And it's giving a deep, like I say, this has been Litecoin just choppily back and forth. It's up, big, down, big. And if you can do it with higher highs and higher lows, then hey, that'd be a fantastic situation. Five minute time frame, buyers are in fantastic control for what I was pretty much going to sleep. 461, so it's up about 40 basis points, close to 10%. Hourly term time frame is managed. And yeah, let's look for resistance here at like this area. Okay, yeah, do you see any? Well, maybe let's just put a line there just for fun and see what we could have found. Well, I mean, I already been on the short term, but that was this was the general area in here. And line just in between these two points in here. Yeah, it was resistance for maybe, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes. Then it was support for close to an hour. Oh, well, that, that could have been just a big indication there, right there. That, I mean, that's just telling you when you look at the psychology of the fact that it was supporting that high level of resistance for that period of time, that there's a telltale sign coming in the future. And, you know, that's the thing that I've learned from, like, sports betting. And even in this, you, when you see and you've made tens, you first made tens of bets, then you make hundreds of bets, then you make thousands of bets, and so on and so forth. So you get experience. And then whether you're sports betting whether you're trading the market or however the result comes into play, you then have to say to yourself after the result is over, what could I have seen beforehand that would have told me this would have happened? And look at what's going on in the five, just going down so fast. What can I see about that? I don't care. Actually, no, that just will happen sometimes. The, re the question now on this is how the recovery would look towards us on the five, if there is going to be one. But what can you learn from what you've done before to tell you this is going to be the case? Thus, with what I'm seeing, you've had this break out of two small legs higher. I'm having this little short term. What's going on on the one to do this anyway? Bitcoin, let's see, what's Bitcoin doing on the one? That could be, and that's on, that could be something you want to see. Is Bitcoin doing anything on the one that's of significance? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So that's, holy shit. Oh, crap, whatever. What's the percentage on this? Uh, 0 0.8, okay, and then followed by 1.18. Eh, it's not like I haven't seen that before. One hour chart just coming back down to the uh, 18 average of uh, lows. Come back to where we came from playing. Daily time frame, it's like, oh my goodness, still like, oh, still hanging in there. But what we would see just from this analysis already, hey, this thing at the start, looking to go in a break time, uh, uh, break out. Price action was at the all time high area. And low was in the nice set. If you start to see this thing, starting to on the intraday going in here then we could maybe have to start talk about maybe give it up another several more percentage points as a possibility but uh, let's take a look at litecoin against the dollar next and then even uh, litecoin against bitcoin on the daily and weekly i do like how it's breaking out from the 18 average of highs here and as i've been saying before this thing to, see, to me seems on route for a concise move to 136 so far it's looking so good it's didn't get up to 136 here not close came back down even further to 68 and 
Now, if it starts to break out and gets to the, to that level, then it, that'd be a check mark hit at that point. Now, what resistance question mark? We'll wait and see. I'd be adjusting the message on the market, realizing that the next two key levels are that of uh, 100 psychologically and then short term as well, 68 more longer term and uh, within the Fibonacci. And then uh, after that, we'd be talking about looking at resistance of going over 200. And I do have... Uh, What's this number here? I don't know what that was. Anyway, that's Litecoin. And let's take a look against Bitcoin and finish it off. So it's gotten below the 50 number. That's, an, that's just an interesting weekly setup when you look at all these periods. Like that, that really just explains the choppiness and things. So things are just live right now. I, I do like the weekly setup, but the week's almost over. So it's pretty cool. Daily chart, I do like how it's breaking out from there. All right, then. So as far as uh, psychicness and stuff, something that's always been a passion for me for a while, but something that has been twizzling at for several, several years now. This is not easy to find. Especially on YouTube. I don't even know if you good luck finding it on a YouTube search. The the two thousand seven forward slash space forward slash my spiritual awakening uploaded October sixteenth, two thousand and nine, twelve minutes, eight seconds. I don't know if how much of this video I've watched. I probably haven't watched it since October the sixteenth, two thousand and nine. And I don't even really watch it. I would just watch it for video control, video quality. I wouldn't have edited it. If anything, I just would have edited the first few seconds off and on. I mean, the last first five, ten, last ten, because I, have, I I had ways. I don't record this way anymore, but I had ways where I would get into recording settings, like sort of like take, not like take one, take two, take three, but my style for doing that sort of deal. And then whatever. So I just don't really watch them. And that was one phenomenally interesting. I'll put a link for it in the more information box. The only way I could find it, on, I'm sure it worked for you. Yourself. If you type the exact characters on Google, 2007 forward slash space, all that, it, come, it came up. But the fact that I can't search it on YouTube is disturbing and not get it. As one of the things I pride myself upon is being able to say to people how to find a video and heck, you can write it down. You can keep, you can put it in your head. That's the way I'd want to do it. And in this case, it'd be, yeah, 2007, my spiritual awakening. And then put money charts in or put endless mountain in and stuff like that. I mean, you put that for the channel purposes because other people might have 20, I mean, there's going to be, there's going to be other 2007 based spiritual awakening type videos in there as well. Now, as that went, that was about eight days or so, seven, eight days of just an interesting major, major phenomena with the main event situation of about 30 minutes on pretty much the final day, final night. And that main event was pretty much best explained, and good luck finding this, I guess, opposed to, because I found this information at roughly around, on well, 2007, I found it, uh, which is October, November, no, December, like November, December, I would have found it of 2007, which would have been Ian X. Lungold, the late, and even then it was Ian, late Ian Lungold. And the stuff that he explained was like everything that was coming through to me on, the, on a much more large, grander depth level, including continuation level, post what was supposed to be thought of as 2012. And one of the things I stated within the video and videos like that is, uh, give me tangible evidence is December 21st, 2012. But the, all the stuff that I was talking about, I'm, not only do I highly believe it's just, it's just growing exponentially over the last uh, dozen dozen or so plus years, and as the 2020 events come into play, all the other stuff that I talk about is these big events coming in. To me, that looks like this is where it's at, and quite frankly, the event that we've been what we've been going through this year. Not and that's I'm even discounting like any type of like economic collapse stuff because obviously that hasn't even started really. Well, it has, but it hasn't started any major level. Where you can say all the um, culture events of 2019 was a monster move, and that's what I'm looking for: a major culture changes. Yeah, it is, but no, it's not even close to the 
the frequency and the amounts of them, they're going to be getting, they're going to be bad to start, extremely bad to start, but they will keep on repeating actually. And they will get amazing later on, like several, two, like several years, like after, after like minimum, the, the, the last one, if you will, will be several years from now. It will be about the time plus a year ish from now to whenever the big, well, I guess what they call like the big ascension movement, if you will, which will be something no one's ever going to know the time and day, which is interesting. That's what basically said in the Bible for that one. It was basically said to me too in a similar way as well, which was kind of sick as far as how it was said. As uh, sick as in like, you're never going to know kind of a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that you think you're going to know and you're going to try to preserve good luck with it a lot of it's not going to be done at least the big the major stuff will never be preserved stuff like that it's like you'll never gonna know it's like well, okay whatever no one uh and that's just how that part is so what's going to come up on this i'm uh, it's almost one of the ones i'm like rob van dam with wrestling i refuse to watch my old stuff especially on this there especially this so what it states i can see i got and the fed i got it and the fed book here this picture says silver 1000 per ounce that's what I figured back then had the availability to get itself up to, well, it would still have, what's the dollar would still buy you something kind of deal. I have retra I have personally retraced those numbers. I think it's going much, much higher than that. I needed at least another zero on top of that. Okay. Although that's my, uh, I mean, that's exactly it. That was like just a whole bunch of law of attraction stuff like that. Cause I just finished watching the secret, watching so much stuff like that. No, if anything, the law of attraction, I'd only care about, let's try to get some scientific stuff towards it, try to work with it. We've got a long ways to go. There's so many things in this world that I realize I'm never going to figure out by the end of my lifetime, or I'm never going to see. And um, Well, one is like, well, cycles, any cycles that look, okay, it's going to go to 2080, 2090, and 2100. Of course, I'm not going to see that. I'll be too old. I'll be dead. So, I mean, it's there's and even well past that, especially with some of the things mentioned in here, because it kind of went on from like, really 0%, 50%, 100% of life, if you will, like start like a whole timeline of life, fact that we were, and yeah, we're halfway through the world, basically, literally, you take the big bang, the bang crunch right there, we're, yeah, we're pretty much at that halfway point, and we are, we're not quite there yet, uh, and it's a big, big monster event, is what it is, and extreme levels, and when they explained the mathematics to time on the Ian Lungold part, that was like, oh my goodness, so let me see if I can try to find that Ian Lungold information, and this is it right here. There's information here. Uh, the one that I watched would have been, they're all the same. It's not like he's doing the same show over and over, but it would have been, this was the one that I watched and at that time. I watched it like November 2007. So all of these different cycles in here, I was just being explained the same thing, which was pretty sick. Anyway, take care.